to the letter. Sorry, we don't serve the general public. Wait! We're Well then, you must be a couple of wandering outlanders that snuck into the <gasps> Are our clothes really so Hmm. The Yashiro Commission seal. In which case, welcome to the Komore Tea House, a safe haven for the Yashiro Commission. Well, that sounds more like it. Forgot their promise. I was beginning to think you'd forgotten about me. What? Is that the? <laughs> Relax. No need to look so surprised. I take it this is the first time you've seen me in this form. Huh? So you didn't see anything? Ah! Now that you mention it, this does suddenly seem less out of the ordinary. <laughs> All right, all right. I've had my fun. Hey! You're this close to getting an ugly nickname, mister! <laughs> well, I've had some time to kill, given that I've been waiting here for you for so long, as was the case in Rito. So I came up with this little fun greeting for when you arrived. But in all seriousness, I would like to apologize about that little test you went through earlier. Though it was quite necessary. It helped us determine whether or not to bring you before Miss Kamisato, and whether you had the courage to face the lightning alongside us. Hmm. Don't think that Paimon's gonna forgive you just because you're getting all serious now. <laughs> Sorry, did I overdo it? My apologies. Let me just say this. You've often found yourself skirting the rules from the very beginning, haven't you? Naturally, this is due to your unwavering and resolute determination. A long time ago, we had a friend who was much the same. But when the lightning struck... Ah, so you've heard of his story. Hmm. His light still burns all the more brightly. Yes, of course. I will bring you to the Kamisato residence where the Yashiro Commission is located. But before that, there is one other place I was hoping- Oh? Where? I would like you to come with me to the statue of the Omnipresent God. It's still under construction now, but you can already see it from practically anywhere on Narukami- Visions. Visions? You mean all the visions that are collected from the Vision Hunt Decree are put into the statue? So you've already heard of the Vision Hunt Decree. Before I try to explain, I should perhaps remind you first that Mondstadt is the City of Freedom, and Lia is the City of Contracts. As for Inazuma, it's known as the Nation of Eternity. The Raiden Shogun is both the nation's most powerful ruler and its deity. 
The eternity in question is her endless and unchanging will to rule over Inazuma. As such, she relies on the Tri Commission to regulate the nation's affairs and the Sokoku Decree to limit the people's movement. The Shogun wishes to keep Inazuma in stasis, allowing the stream of time to flow from one end to the other without disturbing it for all time. Seems like every god has their own will. Of course, this is my own limited understanding. As for the reason behind the recent Vision Hunt Decree, perhaps the Shogun believes that visions grant people the power to change, and that her eternity doesn't allow for such instability to exist. Whatever the case, the fact is that the Raiden Shogun has dispatched the Tenryo Commission to scour the nation for visions, embedding each one in this statue. And this statue of the omnipresent god can be seen as Inazuma's symbol of eternity. But if that's the case, wouldn't you say that the Raiden Shogun is being... Oh, I don't know... selfish? <laughs> Only outlanders such as yourselves would ever dare speak out so directly against the Raiden Shogun. And yet, I agree. The Vision Hunt Decree is something that simply should not exist. And Miss Kamisato has been committed to fighting it since the day it was announced. Huh? Hey, are you okay? You look like your mind is elsewhere. Sound? What sound? I didn't hear anything. Did something happen? Yeah, you touched the statue, and then... And then what? Aspirations? Hmm. That would seem to confirm the saying. Have you heard it before? That when a person's ambition reaches a certain strength, the gods look upon them with favor. That is where visions come from. In other words, a person's vision represents their ambition. So if what you've just said is true, then the ambitions of these people are stronger than I imagined. All right. Time for the next stop on our tour of Narukami Island, the Kamisato residence. <sighs> Finally!
find a place where the big shots of Inazuma live, huh? Hmm. Paimon kinda expected it to be snazzier. Welcome at last to the Kamisato residence, honored guests. Miss Kamisato is delighted to finally meet you. Is this the Shirasage Himigimi you keep going on about? So, uh, where's she at? <clears throat> oh, uh, behind the screen? Yes. <laughs> As the daughter of the Yashiro Commission, this is how Miss Kamisato is accustomed to receiving guests. Consider it a time-honored tradition within the Yashiro Commission. Forgive me if this is an unwelcome surprise. person after all please forgive my lack of courtesy for receiving you in this fashion especially following such a long and wearisome i have awaited your arrival with great anticipation and toma assures me that you do indeed possess the power to change the tide of the times at present in inazuma in the name of the vision hunt decree the people's aspirations are being senselessly trampled underfoot though the yashiro commission serves the shogun it is the people with whom we share close bonds. A commission's power rises and falls with the trust of their people. Thus, we cannot remain indifferent to this situation without also remaining indifferent to our own fate. Traveler, lend us your power and we can... Oh. <sighs> See, milady, it's just like I said. This will take us nowhere. No, please! Wait! Please, don't go! <sighs> I will introduce you to the Raiden Shogun, on one condition. You must fulfill three small wishes on my behalf. What are your wishes? They pertain to three whose visions were taken from them. Perhaps once you've met them, you will understand. A warrior who guards a village? A former samurai who helped carry out the Vision Hunt Decree, and a swordmaster determined to become the best in the world. Does Paimon get that right? Correct. Please, do all you can to help them. I will await your return here. <laughs> then, you have my gratitude. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do great.
Ayaka told us about. Why are you doing this? Why leave all of a sudden, after all these years? Precisely. It's much too sudden. We've had no time to prepare. The children are desperate for you to take them out to play. Please, we urge you to reconsider. That must be the guy Ayaka told us about. Let's go over and see. If you want my opinion, something to do with the Vision Hunt Decree. It's clear that Tejima had done nothing wrong, and still they confiscated his vision. After that, he became a completely different person. I can't claim to fully understand it, but I could tell that he'd lost something very important to him. He went off on a walk, alone, circled the village a few times, and then, out of the blue, he announced that he was going to leave and become a wanderer. Truth be told, we aren't sure whether trying to keep him here is the right thing to do. But equally, it doesn't feel right to let him leave when he's in this state. He's a lost soul. Seems like he's a well-respected guy around here. Ah, uh, you must also be here to try and convince Tejima to stay. Tejima has protected this place ever since he arrived here 30 years ago. Keeping out the treasure hoarders, fending off any monsters that draw near, resolving quarrels between the villagers. He has put an enormous amount of work into looking after this place, and we all think the world of him. But now, all of a sudden, he says he plans to leave us. We can't help but wonder, was it something we did? We will gladly apologize if that's the case. All we want is for him to stay. Me? I... It's not a question of why I want to leave, but a question of what reason I would have to stay. True, but that's not why I chose to stay here. And what made me want to come here 30 years ago? And why have I never wanted to leave in all that time? I don't have answers to those questions, because I can't remember anymore. Ever since they took my vision away, it's like... a slice of my memory is gone. In the past, I knew I wanted to stay here. But whatever resolve I had then, it's gone now. 
So I thought, what's to stop me from moving around instead? The emptiness inside me will be there either way. Okay. Well, in that case, if we help you rediscover the reason you chose to stay, you won't need to leave anymore, right? Hmm. But if you can't remember anything, it's not gonna be easy. Oh! Maybe if you just try a little harder to remember, then it'll all come flooding back? Oh, that reminds me. Last time I brought Tejima some fruit, I do believe I saw him writing in a diary. Mm, I keep a diary? If you say so. I honestly can't seem to remember. Oh, yes, yes, you do. And what's more, I remember you saying at the time that you wanted to make a note of a few interesting things. Things which would prove very important at a later date. Perfect! So if we want to keep Tejima from leaving, we just need to find his diary. It must be around here somewhere. Let's take a look. If you don't mind, we will leave you to find the diary. We should head back to the village to inform the others of Tejima's situation. Tejima's diary, all right. Let's see what we have here. Today, the villagers and I got together to cook dried braised salted fish. I messed up and burned mine a little, so I had to pretend that it was Black Snake Head instead. Today, I helped rescue a kid who had fallen in the water. After I pulled him out, he told me that his best friend Bamboo was still in the water. I searched the water the whole afternoon. I went kite flying today. The string broke, so I chased after it as fast as I could. I soon realized I was never going to get it back. So I just found somewhere to sit and watch as it flew away into the distance. Hmm. Seems like your average diary of daily village life. Huh? Wait! There's more! I went to pray at the shrine again today and stayed there a while. The omamori you gave me has faded a little, but it is still my most treasured possession. Now that's the kind of info we're looking for! Time to pay a visit to the shrine! Omamori Tejima wrote about. Hmm, interesting. Looking at the color and the design, Paimon would have thought it belonged to a child. But anyway, if he had this with him all the time, there's a chance some of his elemental energy remained on it. Do you think that it might come in handy?
somewhere that Tejima visited a lot? The soil looks like it's been disturbed. Maybe Tejima buried something precious here. Something that kept him in the village all these years? Must be something pretty amazing if it made him stick around for 30 years. Let's dig it up and take a look. <gasps> it looks like a letter. The paper's gone yellow. Must have been written a really long time ago. Honda Village. Sounds so familiar. Where is that place again? Huh. So the reason Tejima came here was to wait for someone. But he's been here for 30 years! Oh, guess they didn't show up in the end, huh? Well, let's go give Tejima his stuff back and take it from there. That's certainly my handwriting. And I guess the Omamorian letter belonged to me, too. <clears throat> but I have no memory of anything that's written in this diary. Still, it's clear that I was waiting for someone here, and that I chose to wait for 30 years. Over the years, I must have made a note of anything interesting. Anything that I could share with her when we were finally reunited. And just look at all the things that did happen over the years. The time has flown by so quickly. Thirty years feels like the blink of an eye. How could I have forgotten something so important to me? Now that I think about it, when my vision was taken from me, it felt like I'd suddenly been... hollowed out. Love, regret, everything I felt for her, it's all disappeared. No, not especially. After all, I've forgotten who she was. Her face, her voice, the things we experienced together. I barely recall any of it. It's as if she'd never been in my life to begin with. As if all these years have been nothing but a hazy dream. Mm, I think... maybe not. If this is something I waited most of my life for, I suppose I should carry on waiting. Although... What if she were to turn up eventually, only to find I didn't remember so much as her name? Wouldn't that be upsetting for her? When I think about it like that, I do feel a slight tinge of sadness in my heart. How curious. Why am I thinking like this when I don't even remember who she is? It's just like that feeling of emptiness. The feeling that something is... missing. <sighs> Thank you both for helping me reconnect with my reason for staying here. I shall remain here. ...and keep waiting for her. Tejima seems to be dealing... ...okay... ...but still... ...seems it's just like Ayaka and Toma were saying. If you lose your vision... ...you lose all your hopes and dreams too. That certainly explains the state Tejima was in earlier. At least we were able to help him... ...weren't we? <sighs> well... ...let's go find the next person. According to Miss Kamisato, the second one who lost their vision is a samurai.